let's go ahead and create some straight or checkered or parallel mode lines. So back into Photoshop, we have our Inkscape shapes, we've got our GFRs, we've cut our GFRs. Um, we're gonna create a new group here, so another folder. And let me just call this, uh, let's call it mode lines. And it's empty at this point. Um, so we have this empty folder. The first thing we need to do is we need to get some things for our patterns. So when we tr create our stripes, we need to find those patterns. So there's a website. Uh, let me get out of this. Here it's called stripegenerator.com. Uh, free site, pretty straightforward. So I'm on here and there's a bunch of different things I can change here, but I'm gonna create uh, four patterns, okay? Uh, those patterns are, I'm gonna create a horizontal stripe, a vertical stripe, uh, a diagonal, and then a diagonal the other direction. So I need to create four of these. Um, and I need to do them in black and white. So first of all, the size of the stripes, I found that 20 is a good place to start. And depending on your canvas, um, you might need that bigger or smaller. Actually, I'm just gonna create these and make them maybe 22. And you want both these numbers the same because you want the same distance um, between these. And if you hit this little refresh in the middle here, it'll refresh and now we got this 22. But I want it black and white. So I'm gonna come down here to my stripe color and let me just drag all those down there. And it should be all zeros and refresh. And now you can see I have got black and white diagonal stripes now. Um, background, I'm gonna leave the same. I'm gonna have no shadow. Background colors, I want white. And this will just change the direction. So right now I've got a diagonal. I can change this so it's diagonal the other direction. I can change it so it's vertical. I can change it so it's horizontal. So let me, um, what I'm gonna do is let me do the vertical one first. Refresh this. I'm gonna download and it'll download a PNG here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna do my diagonal, download that one, uh, the other diagonal, the other direction, download that one. And then my, I didn't do horizontal. So let me do and download that, All right? So now I've got these four tiles. And if I open it and I look at one of these to show you what I got, um, it doesn't look very useful. <laughs> uh, it's just this little small square right here. And you're like, well, how the hell are we going to use that? Well, we're going to use that. We're going to create a pattern inside of Photoshop in order to be able to leverage that. So let me come back here into Photoshop. And I've got my Mo line group highlighted. Um, and let me first, um, let me take one of those patterns. I'm just going to show you how I do one of these and then all the rest of them will be exactly the same. So I'm going to take the first one here. I don't know which one this is, but let me pull it in here. It looks like this one is, if I zoom in, it's going to be my, uh, yeah, it's going to be my vertical pattern. You can see. So, and I'll show you how that's possible in a second. So let me commit that. So now I've got this layer right here, this temporary layer, and I'm going to use my magic wand tool. I'm gonna make sure that I am on my current layer um, and I don't need to sample all layers. I'm just gonna sample part of this. You can see it got the white area now, but now I'm gonna add the black area to my sample as well. So if I make sure that this addition is selected, if I click on the black, now you can see that I've got this whole you know, sample, this whole stripe selected. I'm gonna come up here to edit and I'm going to define pattern. And I'm going to call this my vertical stripes. So now that's defined. And now I can delete this. Delete layer. And now that's gone. I can control D. And now I no longer have that selected. So now I've got that pattern defined. Let me do one more of those so you guys get just see. Let me go out, let me get the next one here. Maybe this is, yeah, so this is the diagonal one. So let me scroll in here. So I created this new layer. I'm gonna commit my transform. And yeah, so this is gonna be interesting. I'll show you how to fix this. But now we've got this diagonal one. So magic wand tool again. So now it's selected our white. We're gonna make sure the add on is function. So you see now we've got white and black selected. I'm gonna edit define pattern, and it's called this diagonal one. Um, 
I'm going to do the same thing for the other two stripes. We're going to pause the video just so you don't have to watch me. But, but I'm going to create a pattern for the other two um, that I downloaded. So I created those four patterns. I have two diagonal patterns, and I've got a vertical pattern and a horizontal pattern. So now I'm going to come back up here to my mode line folder, and I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm going to make this my diagonal mo line one. And with that selected, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to my paint bucket tool, which is this one right here, my paint bucket tool. And now up here at the top, there's two things. I can do foreground and I can do pattern. Well, we want pattern. And I created diagonal mo line one. If I hit this drop down, the patterns that I just created are in here. And it looks like I might have screwed up here. Oh, yeah, I see them now. So I'm going to do, this is going to be my diagonal pattern. So I'm going to select this. And now I'm going to click back here. I'm going to make sure my diagonal mo line layer that I just created is highlighted. And if I click here, you can see that it tiles that whole thing together. And now I've got a whole layer of a diagonal mo line. All right, pretty sweet. But I don't like this. I mean, this is really hard edge. It's, it's uh, you know, so, so basically we want to blur this. Okay, so let's come up here to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And that to me is much better. Maybe not so much. Let's try to see what a two looks like. Nah, I might need 2.5. Yeah, it's pretty good. I could also add some noise if I wanted to, but I'm gonna leave it like that. It is a little pixelated, but I think once we pull it into our satellite overlay, it won't look so bad. We could always blur it a little bit more, but you can see as we zoom out, it gets pretty good. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Let me do another layer here. Let me do, call this one horizontal. And then my paint tool pattern, let me find my horizontal one, which would be this one right here. So now I created a horizontal one. And I do, I want to blur this one again. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So now I have a horizontal, diagonal, and let me do another one. I'll do one more to show you guys my vertical, but I do need to do the fourth one, which would be the other diagonal in the other direction. So vertical, uh, paint tool, let's go this one right here, click. And then we do the same thing, we're gonna blur it. So you can see that's pretty good. And I'm gonna pause it while I do the uh, last diagonal one. Okay, so it looks like I got my mode line layers pretty much done, which is I've got my diagonal two. Just show you here, diagonal two. I got my vertical mode lines. I got my horizontal mode lines, and then my diagonal that run in the opposite direction, right? Um, and the reason for that is, depending on where I'm at in the course, I might want to checker these or move them in different directions. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video.